charming day it has been, Miss Fairfax. Pray don't talk to me about the weather, Mr. Worthing. Whenever somebody talks to me about the weather, I always feel that they mean something else. And that makes me so nervous. I do mean something else. I thought so. In fact, I am never wrong. And I would like to be allowed to take advantage of Lady Bracknell's temporary absence. Oh, pray do so. Mama has a habit of coming back so suddenly into a room that I've often had to speak with her about. Uh, Miss Fairfax, ever since I've met you, I've admired you more than any girl I've ever met since I met you. Yes, I'm quite well aware of the fact. And I wish that in public, at any rate, you had been more demonstrative. For me, you have always had an irresistible fascination. Even before I met you, I was far from indifferent to you. We live, as I hope you know, Mr. Worthing, in an age of ideals. The fact is constantly mentioned in the most expensive monthly magazines and has reached the, reached the provincial pulpit, I'm told. And my ideal has always been to love someone of 